and they're still not friends. We just fought off a zombie horde. You'd think they would up our... Think, oh, morale issue, anger. That's not good. Ah, there we go. Now can be Marcus. Okay, let's let my get some sleep. What's everyone? Everyone seems to be running around. This doesn't sound good. But there's zombies. I can hear zombies. But I can't see zombies. You need to go for a walk. God, Sam, come on. Come on. I'm sure I dealt with you before. Or was that Maya? Maybe actually it was Maya. I think. Oh shit. Okay. Yep. There's definitely zombies here. I got you, Lily. I got your bat, Lily. This is why you stay indoors, Lily. This it's weapon is awesome, though. I forgot how much I like this weapon. I guess. But yeah, that was a bit of a clusterfuck. You. you okay? Shit, there's a massive horde <laughs> right there coming right down the street. Shit. I have to go there for her thing, and there's the other infestation. Potential home site, that's quite cool. Kirkman residence, okay. So we got another place we could have a home in. At least there we go, he's actually shooting people. Okay, maybe I should go this way. Can't really see any zombies. Apart from that horde. Nope. Okay, Lily, calm down. We need to go there, but I don't want to go outside because that horde. I don't want to alert them. Hopefully, I'll just. Okay, they're not going to go away. I was hoping maybe they might walk the other way, but it looks like they've seen us. They can definitely hear the shooting. And here they come. Okay, everyone, alert. Get on to alert again. This is not over. Okay, come on, you sons of bitches. I've got a shotgun. I have no ammo, though, so I need to go get some ammo. Everyone just move out of the way. Jesus, I just used my melee weapon. I can't be bothered. We haven't got enough time. We haven't got time for this. Come on, guys. Help me. Help me. Help Marcus. Shit. Okay, we got him. Okay, guys. Come on, Sam. Me and you against the world. We got this. They come to our home. They want to kill us. We'll kill them all. This is our last stand. Last stand. He's got me. He's got me. Help me. Okay, I got him. Marcus led the way. Awesome. That's quite cool. Our morale is really good now. And look at that. We're standing tall above these zombies. Me and Sam. I still need to go and get you sorted, don't I, Sam? But yeah. Our home is pretty effed at the moment. I mean, look at this. This is just ridiculous. I probably should get some... Uh, Resources. I actually didn't look before. Should really always remember to look through stuff. Make sure I've got the right stuff I want. Make sure I've got stuff I don't want. Uh, definitely just in case I meet some hordes or something. Need some bullets. I think I'll stick with the shotgun. Well, it's the same gun actually. Not. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> I thought it looked like a rifle, but obviously it's a shotgun. Okay, let's go. This now let's go, Sam. Come on, Sam. Let's go sort out your issues. We don't want to lose any other people. Well, we haven't lost anyone, so when I say other people, I don't, I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, we must have killed most of the zombies around here by now, because we've just killed a freaking hell of a lot. Our home came under its first attack today. Uh, it did quite well. Managed to survive. But, yeah. How are you doing, Sam? But yeah, we came under our first attack and we did quite well, I thought. Um, shows that we can take a, a hell of a lot of zombies. But that was not meant to happen. I definitely need to try and control the population of zombies in my area. Need to do better, better go. I love jumping through that window. But yeah, I need to do a better job of keeping control of the how many zombies. I'm too focused at the moment on getting resources. That I don't go out and fight zombies. Particularly infestations. I mean, what's the point? If they're infested that thing, they don't want to bother me. They're just going to stay in there. But I guess it's just, just low, uh, low morale. That's more the point. Yeah. And we want everyone to be happy because an unhappy camp is a dead camp. And a happy camp is a we're still alive camp. Hopefully. Hopefully.
But I'm yet to see if people can actually turn. Because obviously Ed almost turned. And I assumed he was. I thought it'd be part of the story. But he didn't. So I'll be, I'm really looking to see. I really want to see if people can actually turn. Because that would anyway, add a really fun I dimension. You to know that I understand your frustrations. Well, excuse me for being a little stressed out over the end of the fucking world. We're all stressed, okay? But we can't afford to be at each other's throats. So start playing nice or you're out on your ass. Woo, you go tell him, Marcus. To answer to me. That is some good talking, Marcus. He's, he makes good points. Yeah, you listening? You listening to Marcus? Yeah, you better, Sam. You better listen to Marcus. He knows what he's talking about. It may seem mean, but he's talking He's talking shit. No, so not shit. I meant that in a good way. You know, when you say something shit. It is the shit. That's what I meant. I didn't mean shit as in he's talking bullshit. That was probably the worst word to use. But yeah, he knows what he's talking about. It makes sense. I mean, you can understand why you should be angry or upset. Um, we've all been through a hell of a lot. And it, it's looking really depressing. I mean... Thanks for the pep talk. It helped. Good. Ah, that's good. But yeah, it's not like we have a lot with us. Uh, we just survived a massive attack. I mean, it could happen again at any point. So you can understand these people. But I'm going to make sure they all survive. We will all make it through this. Even if we have to kill the army. Or make them, force them to take us away. We will make it out of this, guys. I will not lose any of you. Oh, no survivors found. Awesome, great. I can't really build anything until I've got materials. But there's some really cool stuff here I want to make. To oh. In Valley. Marshall Municipal Court Judge Lawton. Is a safe place. We have food, security, and shelter. Provided you're willing to obey the law and contribute to society, you're welcome to join us here. That sounds fair. I mean, that sounds quite good, but is it is it one of my mission things? No, it's not. Okay, that sounds quite fair. That thing's still over there. I had a really annoying time with that this infestation, so I'm not sure if I really want to go take on infestation. Let's have a look at the map. Where would Judge Lawton be? I guess she'd be down here somewhere. Um, and you've got that big place over there as well, but at the moment we're over here. Ah, look, there's the little map key. And a little brontosaurus. Okay. Well, there you go. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, just Lawton. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound too... It makes sense, you know, if you obey the law and contribute. That sounds fair to me. Enthusiasm, oh, that's cool. People are getting along really well now. Ah, oh, that's nice. But yeah, that sounds... Maybe we should... Uh, maybe she's good. It sounds like one of those things would probably be bad, if you know what I mean. It sounds like one of those things where it's too good to be true. She's a judge, so she's authority. So in games, I tend to see that they'll... Jack! Jack, do you copy? Damn it, man, where are you? Jack. You might want to go check it out. Who the hell's Jack? Why am I going to check out someone who's looking for Jack? Quentin Barnes. Nice name. Where is it there? Oh, okay, down here. Ah, so where I think the judge might be. Maybe I will go check it out. I wouldn't mind going to look at what that town looks like. Because I haven't been anywhere. I haven't been up down here or at the top. It'd be nice to see what it's like, actually. I'm going to have a... Let's go on a mission. We've got food. We've got health. Uh, we've got oil. Or petrol, I guess. I'm going to go check it out. I can't really be anyone else, apart from me or Ed. Is it, I really need to make friends with them. I'm not really sure how I'm going to go about it. I mean, how do you make friends? Is it just by continually contributing to society? I'm not sure. But our morale is freaking high as well. So, oh shit, my car's gone, hasn't it? I forgot about that. I guess I'll take this shitty taxi. Great. I'm headed I've out. lost a load of bloody cars already. There are a lot of infestations out there. Oh, thanks for telling me. I had not noticed at all. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a zombie apocalypse going on. Gah. Just woke up this morning and completely forgot. I don't know why. I find her annoying, in a way. Like she's too happy. Like, it's good to be happy, but she's too happy. She's like, <laughs> have a good day. Oh yeah, look, there's zombies trying to kill you. I don't know, that just slightly annoys me. Ooh. 
I'm going to get a different car. Let's get this nice little small one. Because obviously, like I say, the taxi's a bit damaged. Okay, let's head off. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Wow. Okay, this car is completely different to any other car I've handled. It's much faster. It, well, at least it feels faster. And it's real. Oh, shit. Okay, this car is ridiculously weird to control. I'll probably take a shortcut through the, uh, through the um, fields. It'll probably be quicker. Shit, okay, can hardly see anything. How do I turn the lights on in this car? Can you turn the lights on? Oh, shit, okay, okay, getting some air. Yeah, that's, actually, that, that'd be a good thing with the zombie apocalypse. You could actually drive around and not give a shit. That'd be quite cool, actually. But yeah, this car's ridiculously really weird that okay, I can't drive through fences. But it's really weird the handle. Like, I really don't like this car. Like, even though it's quite fast, it's really weird. Like, the cars are weird the handle anyway. But this one's ridiculous. Look at this. I mean, it's just like, I'm slightly turning it. And it's just like, Phew! This car's ridiculous. Don't really like it. But we're almost there, so it's not a big deal. I can always pick up a different car. Now, where the hell do I go? I'm slightly lost. Ah, here we go, the main road. Um, I guess I have to cut across at some point. Just try and find an opening. Okay, a little taxi there. Someone obviously uh, got off there. Okay, can't find a can't find a turn in. Doesn't really seem to be a turn in for a while, so I'm just going to turn here. Turn off on off road. That like a building. What the hell is this? That's like quite a big building. I have to check it out at some point. What the? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah, ah. Shit. What the fuck just happened? What the hell? Marcus, no. Marcus. No, I lost Marcus. I can't believe that. What the hell happened? I was driving. Suddenly hit like a little upturn. And I was flying in the air. And then I fly out the car. <laughs> what the hell happened? Marcus, no. We've lost my best character, the guy I started with, Marcus. Wait. Wait, I'm, I'm alive? Marcus? Is that really you? It is. I'm actually alive. What the hell just... What? I'm very confused. I thought I was going to be dead. She did say the infirmary would be full at this rate. So maybe I just was injured? See ya. I'm actually... What? What just happened? I'm very confused. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that just happened. I thought I'd lost Marcus for good. Oh my god. I'm actually really relieved. I'm slightly annoyed that he's actually still alive. Because I'd have thought I'd be dead. I mean, who's going to come pick me up? I guess I have a walkie-talkie, so I could call them. Hey guys, I'm stuck down a ravine. How did you get down there? Um, you know, j just, you know, f fell off a fell off a cliff. You see, yeah, just by accident. I need to be much more careful next time. But yeah, I'm going to still head down there again. Um, this time, I think we're going to stick to the road. Just need to find a car. And here we go. Ooh, my god, this is a nice car. That is what I call a car. This is what I call a car. I was driving that little shitty thing. I've got this right around the corner for me. It's slightly loud. I will say that. It is slightly loud. Definitely not really the car you want in a, a you know, zombie world. Yeah, if I, if I was in a zombie world, I definitely wouldn't have this car. Way, way too noisy. It's really nice, though. So I'm going to drive it down there. But I don't think I'm going to keep it. Or at least I'll keep it, possibly, and leave it for shall we say, special occasions where well, it doesn't matter. But yeah, let's stick to the road this time. We could see some nice little places on the way. Um, and this time, hopefully, by sticking to the road, I won't fly off a cliff. I still can't believe that. I still can't believe Marcus is alive. This is insane. Yeah, nice to uh, go on a little road trip with no one else. This would probably be the most boring road trip ever. I actually don't mind going on 
a drive. You know, when you go on like a long drive, like somewhere for like an app, you know, it may take a few hours. I don't actually mind if I'm with people I enjoy. So like if you're with your mates or something and you're going on like a five hour drive or something, it's actually really fun. You know, you listen to some music, you make some stupid conversations up. You know, I really enjoy that. It actually becomes quite enjoyable. But uh, yeah, if you're on your own or you're people you don't really like, or you're on a bus or something, you know, something where you can't really interact with everyone and you haven't got the same sense of humour and stuff, it's really freaking boring. But then again, I guess in the zombie apocalypse, that's not really one of your first worries, is it? Probably not. I'm sure I have other things to worry about. Oh. Need to just drive around this. I like they put things in like the middle of the road. It all makes you think, because obviously, you know, the road isn't going to be perfect, it's not going to be completely clear. People would have had crashes, uh, there may be some... Oh, okay. Like that, to move people who used to be, you know, were driving along and they got attacked. Okay, I think I'm going to head down this way. And it, this looks like... Is this the main city? Let's drive through here. Okay, looks like we're almost here. Or not. Nice little place we got here. I'm not sure if this would be a good place to have our home. Like, I mean, would it be better if we moved here? Or is it worse? Because, because it's more of a populated city, does that mean there's more zombies? So it's actually more dangerous. Or is it better because there's more supplies and protection in a way? I don't know. Where are these guys though? Big Daddy Auto Repair. Shit, man. Is that a uh, click to Bioshock? You know, Big Daddies? Where the hell are they? Go home? Ah. I didn't say that. Hey guys, how you doing? You should have known better as all. Just, just a random guy yeah. popping around the corner, just in front of you. You know, I mean, hi. Guess we bit off a little more than we could chew. Don't suppose you'd be willing to give us a hand? Well, I did drive all the way down here. I mean, I'm not really bothered, but I did just drive all the way down here. So I think I probably should help you. Happy to help. We appreciate it. Last we heard from him, Jack should be somewhere in this vicinity. Now let's get looking. Okay. Do they follow me or? Okay, I guess they're following me. I thought maybe I was to follow them. Oh, okay, there's a selection of places. Now, knowing games, I would think that it wouldn't be in the first one. Because it always, you know, it's never in the first, it's usually in the last place. Because they expect you, because you'll go through it, to check the closest place, then the next place, and the next place, and then the last place, you'll check last. So it gives you more of a progression. But I'm not checking the first place or the second one, because I bet you he's not there. Because they've never put him in one of them two. Because if, if, you, if you check the first one, he's there. It's like, okay, that was easy. Wasn't really a quest, was it? Then again, they could uh, they could be doing that thing where they have them randomly. Because sometimes they have randomly, I think. Or it's just always in the last place you look. That's the other one. It could always some be in the last place you look. So if you go fourth, third, second, first, it'd be in the first one. If if you'd done it first, second, third, and fourth, he'd be in the fourth one. But like I said, I didn't make the game, so I have no idea what the fuck they did. But I'm going to check the last one anyway. Okay, let's have a look in here. Can't get in. It's locked. I uh, better destroy this. Anybody there we go. Here? Big picture here. We all like Jack, but let's face it, the guy is probably dead. <laughs> He's got a good point. He does make a good point. Um, then again, you know, in this sort, of, you know, in this zombie circumstance, every single person is vital. Do you know what I mean? That's how I see it. If someone I knew, I thought, okay, they might be alive, they might be dead, I would have to look. You know what I mean? Because I'd be like, that's a guy's life. Particularly if I know him. You know, that's a guy's here? life there. If he dies, that's his life over, you know? And we need as many people as we can because every life's important. It helps you survive. I'm thinking I maybe should look through all these stuff. Let's at least look through a couple, maybe. There might be good stuff in here. But yeah, every life's important, so I'd be really sort of... Like, ooh, kitchen timer. I'm assuming obviously to distract them, but don't really want one. What Seems a bit of a hassle. Ganked, huh? 
You think Becca's gonna send even more guys after us? Because I don't. Again, that is a good point. You're not gonna keep sending more people every time someone disappears, are you? But, like I say, you know, I would always go looking for that person. Or go back, you know. Or at least do everything I can to make sure I did everything I could to survive. That's the sort of person I am. You know, I'd be. If I was in a situation where we were surrounded, one person was completely surrounded and all the rest of us were in a different, you know, all of us were in a group, then one of us managed to split from the group and they were surrounded. I would help them as much as I could, unless, oh shit, okay. Oh, he shot me. Anybody home? No one in here either. Okay, so he is in the last place I'm gonna look. I told you this was a stupid idea. Look, we're not going home until we find It probably is the last place you look because that guy's obviously got um, dialogue. So it's obviously the dialogue's there for uh, every single place you look. So I'm assuming it's always just in the last one. But yeah, I'd always, I'd always try as much as I could to help them. Like I say, because every life's important, and even more so in this, uh, in this situation. Shit, oh, there you are. You hey, Ian. You didn't think we were gonna leave you out here, did you? How did you even find me, anyway? We had a little help. I, I don't know what to say. It's no I'm problem. Sure I would have survived out here on my own. Well, go ahead, lead the way. Let's roll. Yeah, maybe, maybe join my, maybe join my group. Maybe you guys could escort them. Okay, so we need a four-person car, and we're heading to here. Guess okay, a bit different. I actually quite like Quentin. Quentin seems quite nice. The other two are a bit meh. Jack seems a bit... I don't know. He seems nice, but meh. Maybe not good in every situation. And the other guy, I can't remember his name. Yeah, he. I probably wouldn't trust him. Okay, that car's definitely destroyed. Um, looks like there's a couple of cars there. Ooh, a police car. Let's get a police car. Come on, guys, pop in. I wonder how big a group they've got. If they've got three people out here, and he said that this woman, whoever it is, uh, might would she send more? Does that mean there's quite a few of them? I have to I have to wait and see. Okay, so we're going this way. I have to drive through here. Thank you. 